Here at Cron 4, we actually have our very own seismograph, and we used it to track some of the aftershocks that happened following Tuesday night's earthquake. I want to show you some of the images, and here it is on the computer screen. Look at that. That is the initial earthquake. It was a 5.6 magnitude, and it happened just after 8 in the evening. Now, anytime you have an earthquake that size, you're going to have some aftershocks. And in this case, if we speed up the seismograph, you can see the first noticeable aftershock happened right here. It was a magnitude 1.8, about a half an hour after the initial earthquake. Then, eight minutes after that, look at this, another aftershock, this one a 1.7. Both of those probably not noticeable to most people, but then two minutes after those two, look over here, a magnitude 2.1 aftershock, still a micro earthquake, but also the most significant aftershock we had seen up to this point from this earthquake. Now at this point, I want to take you over to Google Earth, because remember, this was the center of the actual earthquake. It was a 5.6 magnitude. But then remember, aftershocks can happen all over the place pretty much, and in this case, they were spread out along this line, mostly to the south, following the Calaveras Fault. Now if we zoom in for a second, we can see here's Milpitas, here's San Jose, here again the original center of the earthquake that happened just after 8 p.m. And that 2.1 aftershock that we showed you, that happened all the way down here actually at 8.41 in the evening. Now that was the first of a string of slightly more significant aftershocks. If we look up here a little closer to the original epicenter, 1102, there was a 2.0 aftershock, then around 1 in the morning, a 2.2, and then the most significant aftershock from this earthquake, all the way down here, a 2.8 magnitude aftershock just before 3 o'clock in the morning. Now there was another one following that just around 7.50 in the morning. This was a 2.3 that was also all the way down here toward the southern end of this line of small earthquakes. Now those are just a few of the aftershocks. In all, the U.S. Geological Surveys tallied 41 aftershocks from this one earthquake. Jonathan Bloom, Cron 4 News.